So uh, let's talk about your brother. You you started this this project with your brother Igor. And you stopped talking to Igor for ten years uh, in your book, which I really like. I, I read your book like six months ago or something. Uh, and your book explained that he was the one who actually called you. And what was your first feeling and when when you got that phone call? I felt great. You know, it was like really. Because it was really hard, man. Ten years without talking to him it was very depressive and uh, very hard on our family, on my mom, you know. And um, you know, I always want to go back and make music with him again, also, because we have we had a great time doing music when we were kids. You know, we grew up together, playing together. You know, when we were little in Brazil, and um, so when we formed Cavalera again, it was it was a great feeling, you know. And, uh, and we decided we're going to do everything the way we want to do so we don't ruin it. We don't ruin the fun of this thing, you know. So we keep it fun, keep it something that we like, that we enjoy, that it doesn't turn into a, into something that you, you hate. And and it's still today, even like that. Even today, Cavalera is exactly the same. We, we tour when we want to tour, how we want to tour, the way we want to tour. And we do the records the same way, and uh, everything that we do here is what we we like to do it the way we like to do it. So was, it's was it perfect. difficult to reconnect with him on the studio to create new songs? No, not at all. I mean, for my surprise was uh, when we started playing together. It was like the time never even stopped. You know, it was like right back, right back where we were. I hope so. And did you get the chance to listen to the latest Sepultura albums? No, I haven't not even hear the ones with Igor. I I I, I don't know. You know, I have a hard time. Uh, I don't know. I have a hard time listening to them. You know, I, it's it's kind of like difficult. It's it's, it's kind of like asking you to to um, you know, talk to your ex-wife or you know something like that. <laughs> you know, I it's something that you don't want to. No, you just don't want to do it. So I just don't care. You know. And what about? Uh, Against Nation, Rurbuck, the ones, the ones with Igor on drums. I didn't, I didn't listen to those either. No. Oh, I see. And what happened to yeah. Nailbomb? Why didn't we get a second Nail Bomb album? Great project, by the way. Yeah, no, that's finished. That's over. We're never gonna make anything, uh, you know, because Alex doesn't want to do anything with it, and uh, you know, we killed the band after the second album, the live one. The live album, yeah. It was a statement in the album saying that we are finished with Nail Bomb and um, that's why I created Killer BQ, you know, it's like, like kind of like a different idea, uh, the same kind of idea, but with different music on it, you know, but a lot, a lot of fun also. I think the Killer BQ record for me was really fun to make and yeah, great album. As, as Musicians in it, you know, try from Mastodon, Greg from the Linger Escape Plan, and uh, we toured a little bit with Killer BQ in January, and it was really good. And uh, we hope we can do some next year. I oh, hope so. Um, what happened to the Birimbau, this tribal instrument from Brazil? It was like a like a traditional Max instrument, but you don't use it uh, much anymore. What happened? I have to buy new ones, you know. My old ones all broke. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. The the strings break really easy and it's very difficult to replace and all right. I think now that I'm I'm going to Brazil uh on this tour, you know, I'm probably gonna pick some up and bring it so I can have it for the next soul fly tour. All right. And to, to finish, just to finish, uh, you're close to Jason Nisted, you know, former uh, Metallica bassist. Do you know what's going on with him? With you? Because he kind of like disappeared for for the last couple of years. Uh, the last time uh, that, that he put out was a uh, a project called Nisted, yeah, and it was really kind of metal, like Motorhead, sounded like Motorhead, and it was yes. really kind of cool, you know. Mm -hmm. But I really don't know, man. You know, I, I have not talked to the guy in many years. Oh, no, I see. If you like this interview, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video with all your friends. Also, very important, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.